Hey everyone, it's Baby Bear, and finally, I am going to try to go over the Spirit Beast updates. It was not easy to do without the blood crystals, and now that I have blood crystals to show you guys, I can kind of show you a little bit more in depth to what it is. Now, I couldn't figure out why it automatically only picked the Siren, the Fox, and Pegasus, but when I went back to the instructions, apparently those are the only three spirit beasts that are included in this so even if you have king kong or if you have the other spirit beasts it only is including these three right here so when you go to these little i don't know what you call them those little shapes they they embody boosts that you can upgrade with gems and those blood crystals now i looked everywhere to find what are options are to get blood crystals and what the limit is and I couldn't find it but I do recall it being on the last update so if anybody has that info please put it in the comments because it's not really consistent how many blood crystals we can get a day and obviously you can get that from gathering and monsters they just don't tell you how much so that said when you go to each of these spirit beasts they all have different boosts and so that's what i'm cycling through here so you can kind of see the different options and it seems like what it does is it pairs a pvp boost with a development boost right so obviously when you're picking something you want something to be able to serve your pvp and your development so for me like i wouldn't want to pick you know, range attack and then have subordinate city gold or I don't know, something, something silly. Um, you obviously want to pick something that's really going to help you. So here's the rules here. Their rules are very, very always hard to kind of explain. Um, from what I understand, the seals, the seals are like the awakening, the, the, the stars. So they're going to show you these stars that look like, oh, you just need to upgrade the, the beast and it'll give you those stats. But that's not the case. You have to upgrade those little shapes at the bottom with the gems and the blood crystals. And the more that you upgrade, there's a coinciding star that goes with it. So I hope that makes sense. But let me show you just here's some of the attributes here. So these are the seal attributes, they call it. And again, you'll see that it's just PvP and development tied together. And so as you upgrade these, you get more seals. Okay. I know. Bear with me. Of course, the one that I picked was Marching Siege Machine HP and Construction Speed. Why? Because you're going to want to save the most amount of money, right, at the beginning of this game. And with all the freaking updates, with all the new buildings that you have to upgrade, with the academy, everything. Obviously, my, my goal is for Construction Speed to be at the forefront right now, but also Marching Siege HP... I, I need to upgrade my siege stats. They're they're far behind. So anything that helps my siege, I'm going to try to pick. So here's the stars that I was talking about that look like the, the awakening stars, but it's not. This is what coincides with the seals, and it says here. And so you get an extra bonus every time you hit a number of seals that it coincides with. So that could stack up pretty pretty big. So 10% each time, I would say this is something that you obviously would spend on. You get these blood crystals in the event packs, but also because you can get it from gathering and from killing monsters, if they only let us know how many you can get a day, it's something that you can grind on as a free player, which is nice. But just know that you're going to have to get the Siren, the Fox, and the Pegasus in the Spirit Beast events. And just for reinforcing that proof, I went back to the version of Dane Announcement, which was a little bit back, which has 17k thumbs downs. And it does say here that you need to have, after reaching a certain level, Siren, Nine-Tailed Fox, and Pegasus 
will unlock spiritual be seal feature. And this is the part where it starts to get expensive. When you will need to get your spirit beast up to 15 level and you'll also need to get it up to 20 level in order to activate these different seal awakening stars. Okay, so trying to get your spirit beast up to 15 and 20, that's going to cost you, right? You can't really free play that because you need those spiritual beast awakening stones. So here's an example of the awakening stone. You see it in the far right. You need 10. Somehow I have 10 because I had to probably buy a couple of those packs when I was trying to unlock, I don't know, King Kong or Godzilla or who, whatever beast it was. So you're going to have to basically upgrade these spirit beasts and it's going to cost you gold. It's going to cost you those tails. It's going to cost you gems and it's going to cost you the awakening stones. So while these boosts are huge, they're very, very, very big. They're very chunky here. They're there's so many layers of spending that you're going to actually have to start buying those spirit beast packs now. So for me, I, I'm going to see how far I can go with just the level 10, right? And, and Hey, those are good enough boosts for, for my spend level. And you just have to kind of evaluate your own spend level and what you want to do. And if you just want to do the free play, then make sure on the spirit beast pack days that you really kill a lot of monsters and those scales are very very hard to get they hopefully will up those drop rates because of the amount of scales that you're going to need but um yeah so this is kind of the overview of, of what we're looking at i i would say that if i was a major coiner i think i would rather do the spirit beast upgrade than the ideal place i think people are wasting so much money on that for those 2% increments when you can be getting a lot, a lot bigger boosts here. And so that I think is going to be everything that I cover for now. Um, I don't want to get too deep into it because, you know, I, I have to actually be able to do it myself. I feel like instead of trying to ask other people, because that's where kind of information does get a little bit <laughs> lost. So, um, I just wanted to show you what I know for right now. I think that um, I think it's important, though, to to kind of look at all the updates going on right now so you don't miss out. Right. Don't miss out on gathering and killing monsters. Don't miss out on getting the free blood crystals. Make sure you're getting that every day. And, you know, maybe let's put in a ticket to customer service, ask them what the max is a day, because I think that's important for us to be able to plan out how we can do our gameplay. So, so if you're going to spend, I know this is a spend event, but it also can be free played. So if you want to spend, try to do Aptoid just to get an extra percentage off. All the info is in the description. And I want to give you guys a heads up that I got to play with the Tay today in BOC, so stay tuned for that because I get to interview him as well, so you guys get to meet him, and uh, I think it's going to be a cool little interview. So I do this stuff for you guys because I know you're tired of just like seeing my content, and I'm tired of doing updates. I actually want to fight. I like to PvP a lot, um, but you know, sometimes it's good to try to get more experiences and, and get to share that with you guys, so... I will see you guys soon.